Okay, so this stop is the Boston Latin School. So the Boston Latin School is the oldest public school in America. It was opened up in 1635. Now it's still an operating school, but it is no longer on this site. Um, they moved it, or they demolished it in 1844. In uh, 1972, they allowed it to be co-ed, but up until that time, it was a boys' school. Now, some of the famous alumni include uh, five of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, including John Hancock, Sam Adams, Robert Treat Payne, uh, William Hooper, and Ben Franklin. Now, Ben Franklin actually dropped out. <laughs> so he was our first dropout. How do you like that? Um, but anyway, the building, like I said, was demolished in 1844, and in its place, they built uh, the Boston City Hall, which was built in a beautiful French Second Empire, and it ran as a city hall from 1865 to 1969, and um, it was about to be demolished when a man named Roger Webb um, saved it from the wrecking ball. Now, Webb um, feels like since he saved the building, <laughs> he has a little uh, right to some things. So he, he's in Italy and he sees this statue of a donkey and he just falls in love with it. He thinks it's just the cutest thing he's ever seen. And he knows exactly what he wants to do with it. He wants to gift it to the city of Boston to put right in front of the old city hall building um, <clears throat> because he thought, well, you know, there's the Freedom Trail and school kids, well, they get kind of distracted, you know, and bored and all this, and this might be a nice distraction for them. Well, <laughs> the city's like, are you kidding me? We don't want an Italian donkey. Um, so then um, he repurposes it as this. Well, it's a democratic donkey. And they're, oh, well, okay, that's all right. So they, they install the donkey there, and um, then it's like, well, wait a minute, there's no, uh, there's no, a Republican elephant here. <laughs> so what they do is they install two feet in front of the donkey opposing the donkey. So that's, <laughs> that's sorry Republicans, that's all you get. But anyway, um, there were two other statues that were here too before that. Um, one was of Benjamin Franklin. Um, ben was born in Boston, but he moved out of Boston um, in his teenage years, went down to Philadelphia and considered, oh, loved Philadelphia, considered that his home. So I guess basically he had two homes, Boston and Philadelphia. And then there is also a statue of Hosiah Quincy III, who was Boston's second mayor. So um, just a little stop on the Freedom Trail um, that you can't miss. I'll see you on the next stop. Bye.